This is the third day at the Mobile World Congress and a lot of announcements have been made by Ericsson about 5G in the Middle East. For example, Aredo and Etisalat have selected Ericsson to launch and deploy 5G in the region. They are also launching 5G networks in Saudi Arabia with STC along with accelerating 5G use case implementation in the region. But what exactly are the tangible impacts of 5G that we will be seeing in the region? Al Puisal, who is the head of strategy, explains. For, for Middle East, we actually, as you know, are quite uh, ahead in terms of uh, in the GCC and KSA with our 5G ambitions. Uh, that we are all our Mid uh, Middle East operators in UAE, in Qatar, in Oman, um, in Kuwait, Bahrain, and also KSA have announced their uh, intentions to roll out 5G this year as early as Q2 uh, with some of them. So with that, we actually expect that uh, we will be able to show some uh, one of the uh, show some of these use cases, starting with fixed wireless access, of course, and enhanced mobile broadband, but also some related to um, IoT with, uh, within this year. Um, in the broader Middle East, uh, obviously, we see that coming in more in 2020 and 2021 timeframe with the modernization of the network. The, the first thing will be obviously availability of network at a speed and at a latency that we have never experienced before. So uh, KSA is one of the our biggest consumers of uh, you know mobile broadband or streaming. So the consumers there, the gamer, gamers there are going to explain are going to experience uh, that whole experience in a way that uh, that they've never done. So Shruti, you asked me about 5G applications that are actually relevant for the Middle East. As you know, we have a lot of construction and city planning that's going on in the Middle East. And we have one demo here that our Ericsson Research uh, colleagues have put together that actually shows why you need 5G and how you can do this augmented reality experience and put it to use for good city planning. Okay, so right here, as you see, we just have a very standard uh, outline of a few blocks of, uh, of, a, of an area in Stockholm. Okay, that's close to Ericsson. But, and typically what city planners look at are actually drawings like this and they try to imagine how the whole, uh, the whole city would look like and what if we were to actually put another building up here or do some development over here and what kind of a development we should be doing. Now, with the help of uh, augmented reality and 5G, what we are seeing is that we can actually have city planners experience, have a much uh, fuller experience of all this versus just looking at plain maps like this. So here we have, thank you very much. We have actually, maybe you would like to focus on here, you can actually have a 3D rendition where you have actually even cars and trucks and even birds flying by. And right now we have selected over here a multi-story uh, high-rise in that spot and how that would look and how that would be uh, with the rest of the rest of the city blocks that you see were empty a few seconds ago. And what if we actually picked a different structure over there and what would happen then? So let's do that and let's put a low-rise structure there. So then when we go back, as you see, the image is now completely changed with the with the new uh, with the new picture. 